Hey guys, I um, just wanted to dial in and um, talk you through these new um, little dragsters, the new imitation flounder lures. Um, this is version 2. Um, so those of you that have been um, subscribers for a while will remember that we um, re released an earlier version of this uh, in winter of last year. Um, but just um, appreciated the feedback that we got from everybody on that. Um, that the early version, while it looked very much like a flounder and caught a lot of fish, it wasn't particularly tough. Um, and so it used to get nailed pretty quickly. So now we've come up with a new variation with the new TPE um, Super Stretchy. It actually says that you can stretch this out to 10 times its original length um, without damaging the lure. So, um, so these are also very um, bite resistant as well. So try to get something that's going to last a long time. Um, and um, so that's the main improvement with the new flounder lures. Um, I think also perhaps the colours are a little more natural, obviously with the exception of the orange one. Never seen an orange flounder before, but uh, seen a lot of photos of gurnard and snapper caught on them, so they definitely seem to work. Um, but some of those others are really natural if you're fishing um, up in the shallows and things. The other change that we've made is um, just again listening to the feedback. We went away from the really light little hook. Um, the original um, dragster only had a five gram hook on it, so that's less than a quarter of an ounce. Um, and the feedback we're getting is that for most people that didn't really suit where they were fishing. So now we've gone with a hook with a half ounce sinker on it. And this is a BKK hook. Um, so a really good quality hook. Um, but you'll note too that we've put the, um, the sinker underneath. And the reason for that is that um, when you think about it, when you've got, here's another example where it's actually rigged, when you've got a... Um, a lure, you get all this trouble to try and make a lure that looks um, like a little fish and then normally when you're soft baiting you go and put a great big lump of lead on the nose of it which doesn't look very natural and it also makes the lure nose dive all the time which is not a particularly natural action so by putting the weight underneath it's going to fall much more horizontally through the water column that one's got a lot of shine on it i'll hold you a different one up here's the natural one looking there so it's going to fall a lot more horizontally through the water column um, and that's why we've done that but it does mean that uh, you're possibly going to look at this and go, well, how the heck am I supposed to um, rig that on my lure? And so the, the truth is that it just it's pretty easy. Um, it just threads straight up through. Um, but the, the thing with this TPE material, it's very stretchy. But when you get it to a point, you can actually stretch it so much and it can't stretch any further. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. Um, it can't stretch any further. So you're pushing the... Um, the eye of the hook up through the nose of the um, flounder soft bait and then you've got to just give it a bit of a scratch when it gets really thin and you push it up until it's really thin then give it a scratch and it'll just pop through and um, so that's that's the way you can do that now I've brought it out of the nose of that lure you can also take it straight up through the top of the head you do run the risk of um, breaking the little eyeballs off if you do it that way um, I don't think the fish mind too much with the they're going, I don't think they mind too much whether they're going for a blind lure or one that's got little eyes on it, um, but aesthetically it looks nicer if we can leave the eyes in place. So we're then, we've got it there, and then we're turning it around and going, okay, the hook's going to pop out through about that joint there in the back of this lure, and so we're pushing it up and through. And if I've done it right, it should be rigged and it should sit pretty flat. In fact, I probably haven't done that one quite right. I'll stretch it down a little more, too busy looking at the camera. Okay, I'm going to bring it back a little. There we go. So we're all rigged up and we've got the, the um, hook point sitting flat on the back of the lure which is going to help it to not hook up on weed and other things. Um, if we want to actually take that further, we can actually grab this lure and pull it back towards the head and tuck the point of the um, hook into the body of the lure, just ever so slightly. So now it's not going to hook up on weeds at all, but when Mr. Chompy, the snapper or whatever it is, comes and bites down on it, it's still going to push down past and get himself hooked, no problem at all. So that's what that, that's all about. Um, there is another way you can rig these as well. I've just been experimenting to make it even easier. Um, and that is to use um, a little stainless steel hook. So you can see I've got a piece of um, my stainless steel wire that I've purchased here and um, got a straight piece and I've just put a little hook in the end of it. 
and that actually enables me to um, take one of these take one of these hooks and hook it hook that little half it's only it's only a little half kind of a hook on the end can you see that all right it's just trying to get it to focus um, it's just got the tiniest little half hook I'll try and get it to focus on me there um, on the end of it and if I hook that around the eye of the eye of the hook hook it around the eye of the hook and it's just enough to hold it in place and then I can take a lure I've got another one in the bag here and I can use it like I'm threading a needle I did actually experiment with some needles and threads and things but it was a bit um, complicated but by using um, a piece of stainless wire like this I can then just go okay I want to come in the back of the lure and out through the nose so I can push that piece of stainless steel through no problem at all now it's made a little hole and I can just draw my hook up into it and out through the top hopefully you can see without my hands being all in the way you can see it stretching there Mr. Pheasant in the background, if you can hear him. There's a few of those around my place. Here we go. And now it's popped through with the aid of the little hook, which has just popped it through for me. And that makes it really easy as well. Um, here we go. And I can do the same thing and thread it back through. So pretty easy with that. Now just one other thing. Once you do have um, your lure rigged, the astute amongst you will have worked out that you then have to tie it onto you with your leader and when you want to change um, well firstly before we get into that um, a problem with TPE and some of you will have experienced it with other lures on the market is that they can easily if you're using a standard jig head with the um, with the lugs on the shaft of the hook and you push it on you'll know that when you cast it can actually really quite easily come off um, but by rigging it this way, we've got this big lump of lead underneath and there's no way that that's going to pull back because it can't get past that piece of lead underneath. So it is actually a really secure way of holding the lure in place. And um, the downside is that you would normally have to cut the line every time you want to change your soft bait. Um, but to get around that, some of you have perhaps used um, Genie Clips and I know that there's another model on the market, another product on the market which you can twist on as well. Um, and you can just clip that through the eye and then you're set to go and when you want to change um, your soft bait you might have others like say if you want to change a different color you've got them pre-rigged and ready to go then you can just slip it off one and slip it on to another one so that's a pretty easy way of doing it as well which is just cool there There we go. So then pretty quick change um, to do it that way as well. Um, and there are other clip type products on the market that are smaller than that and that are black rather than silver. And um, I don't have any with me at the moment, but they're another option. So there we go, guys. Always appreciate your feedback on that. Um, like I said, I actually believe that that's quite a good solution to the problem of TPE lures when you pull them sliding off the hook there's no way you can pull that one off because it's locked in by the red lead that's holding it in place um, even if it's come undone if, if you've had a big fish grab it and it's no longer hooked at the back you're not going to lose the lure because it's being held in place by the lead um, so I believe that that's actually an improvement um, and it's something that I'm interested to play around with that concept further in future so any feedback would be appreciated Cheers guys, enjoy, don't forget to send us photos of um, fish, it doesn't have to be big fish, but any fish that you've caught on the new flounder lure, It'll be coming your way in the next couple of days. Thanks, see ya.